Today we're back in the beautiful town of Vittorito in the stunning Pelinia Valley close to Sulmona to see a property that, well, with a door like this, how could you say no? This one is just... <sighs> Today we're back in one of my favourite villages in the Pelinia Valley and this is the village of Vittorito. This has become a real popular hotspot for overseas buyers, probably due to its location. It's just a beautiful town. It has facilities, a couple of bars, a restaurant, there's couple of local shops and the great thing is you're really really close as well to towns such as Popoli which has the larger supermarkets and everything else you're also really close to um, Raiano which is a beautiful town also has a railway station and in Vittorito as well there's a good bus service that connects all these towns together. You can easily get to Sulmona, which is just a absolutely stunning town. Easy access to Rome and places like that. It's just a great, great place to be. Yes, it's a small village. And some people say to me, but where is everyone? <laughs> it's a village, people are at work, kids are at school. That's, that's life, that's life. And these are the heart and soul. Of, um, of, I'm going to even say of Abruzzo, places like this. This is what it's all about. This is what people love being in this kind of atmosphere. It's just such a safe place to be, even though Abruzzo is a safe location anyway. But you know, if you have children, have things like these little kids' play areas and all the rest of it, they're just beautiful places to be. I think it's one thing if. If it's sort of in the middle of nowhere as a town, if there's nothing else around for miles and miles, then some people may think, well, maybe I need a little bit more around. But, you know, this is so close to many other things that it's just, many other towns, it just makes living here possible, if you like, because all the services are here. Everything's close by and it's just full of character. And as per usual now, I've got the local uh, refuse collection that's decided to park in front of me. This always happens, doesn't it? On all of my videos, always happens. I'll pass him now and he'll come and straight behind me and, uh, and, and knock me over. Anyway, I'm not going to delete it out of the video. I'm going to keep it because that's life. It's like watching a little TV program. You've got a, an old lady outside the bar that's shouting at the bin man. He's probably not, uh, probably not taking something from their house. Love it. Oh, she's laughing now, so he must not have done anything bad. But look how picturesque this place is. Absolutely. Yes, I know you're all bored with it, but I don't care. Stunning. Beautiful. And I love this little street as well. Where do we see this one? Don't know why, but there's just something about it. And I should imagine in uh, summertime when all these flowers are out on the side. I mean, how, how much character can you get? So when my colleague first showed me this property, I've got to admit, I was, he was excited. Everybody knows that I, I deal with a guy called Domenico over this side. And he said, wait while you see this one. So as we're walking down here, I'm looking at all these beautiful places. And so sort of looking at this one here, he said, we're nearly there. Look at this one, even though you've only seen the side of this property. Look at this nice stone that you can start to see here. And he said, here we go, Dave. Here we go. And I thought, oh, okay. When I went inside, I thought, how can this be one property? How can this be the, the this property? Because it just opens up so much. So you've got this great outside space out here. So as I came, as I sort of looked at the uh, looked at the building and down the alleyway, 
I thought, why can't it be something like that? Look how amazing this looks. And it is. <laughs> it's not just this part. This is what makes it complicated sometimes, my job. Trying to, trying to get people to understand what these properties are like. So it's actually all of this. I've always wanted one of these. Look at this with the, the arch over the alleyway. That's all part of the house. And also, let me go into widescreen. And this has been completely restored on the outside and lots done on the inside as well. But all of this to the left as well. So where these windows are open, all of these. Now that changes everything. And this is a, a bargain property. Look at the beautiful stone as well. The great thing about this town is attention to detail. All these little side streets, they're all being done. They're all being re-cobbled. I don't know if you can see the pile of cobbling. And it doesn't just get left. Because every time I come here, there's something something new that's being done. But how cool is this? Absolutely. Come on, it is. It's stunning. And look at this entrance. This stone entrance here. I mean, I'm six foot one. This tower's above me. Even the doors. I don't even know. I don't know. That, that looks like copper. I mean, just for the doors alone, it's got to be It's like a church. <laughs> just look at this. How amazing is that? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so as well as everything being done on the outside, all the floors are all new, all throughout. So this is, this is the kind of property that you have to let your imagination run. I'll show you the rooms, but you have to let your imagination run. So this they've used as a kitchen, obviously, at the moment, but maybe you could put the kitchen in a different place. And, but I'll try and stay quiet. I'll try and let you decide how you would do it. That obviously looks out onto the little courtyard that we have. So this has an older boiler, but there is another boiler. I don't know if this one, if this boiler just powers part of the house or, because it is, you'll see why when we're going through. It is full, by the way, of furniture. So unfortunately, you'll have to uh, just get over that. Beautiful floors. This leads down, so cool down this area. That huge door is just round the corner that I, I said. My camera doesn't want to go in the direction I want. I've got one of those gimbal things, I hate them. Anyway, so that's, so you could actually use that as your main entrance if you wanted to. But then look at this, even walking into, obviously it must have been two separate properties at some point. Look at this stone entrance. How ace is that? And it's got the original doors. So I say, forgive me for all the furniture, there's nothing I can do about it, but it's just the way it is. So there is a lot of furniture in here. I think they just use it just to, as storage. But this is a huge room. I don't know if it's coming across. There is another window there. There's two at the end, and then another window on the right. But this room has got to be at least three meter ceilings, and I would say a good seven meters by, I don't know, maybe four or five inches. It's absolutely huge. And again, all with these new floors. But what I was saying to you before, you could keep that one as the kitchen, if you wanted to. If you don't want to, want to walk straight into your kitchen, you use the entrance that's down here, those huge doors that we saw earlier. Then you can turn right into your, your, your kitchen, dining room, and off to the courtyard outside. Uh, and then you can, Domenico's trying to get out of the way of that. <laughs> and then you can, then you could, this could be just an enormous living dining area, or you could have it living dining kitchen. There's just so many things you can do in here. I really hope that the size is coming across because it's not easy when you're, winding your way through all this furniture. <laughs> There's windows up there. There's not exactly views out of the windows because you're just looking out over the, let's see if I can get there. You're just looking out over part of the street. And all these properties are all in great condition. 
it's just part of the you're part of the the village as I say so this room enormous then let me find my way through again these doors look how amazing these doors are now this little bit is the little archway that we saw from outside I don't know if you can remember that and what they've done here they have put a bathroom which again full-size bath all looks fairly new just needs cleaning up new tiles new boiler somebody's gonna get a bargain property here and again looks out over these streets where lots of work happening so all these cobbled streets will all be finished off well, this is a this is a good one it's, it's starting to get to me this place then we we're now in that the other side of the building so here we have again all these floors look at these floors they're all throughout the same tiles I can feel this gimbal juddering so if there's any juddering going off then apologies so this potentially could be a bedroom look at that I don't know if you can these ceilings have got to be four meters high have to be so all this will be stone underneath you could reveal stone again you're looking out onto the, the little street then we have nice wide corridors look at those doors at the end here they've put the pipe work in for another bathroom so it's in there obviously it's not being done clearly <laughs> but it's ready to go and ready to be tiled all new electrics all the outside completely restored gas central heating so this looks back at the the first building I'm sure we could give it a better name than that maybe you know like a like a, the 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 east wing and west wing I'm sure we could call it that there is something that goes on to the roof up there I'm just wondering whether there'd be any chance of having some sort of terrace but I'm not going to say just in case having said that the front terrace is perfect because it's just off the kitchen then you've got another bedroom here look at these doors again slightly smaller bedroom but still a double and again with these really high ceilings and then at the end another master suite with these enormous ceilings again this is so cool and again we're looking out over the what did we call it the east wing I don't even know if it's east anyway there's the amazing doors and the arch brilliant so spacious and it's just it's it's just stunning and the fact that when you look at it from the front, it looks like nothing. Absolutely love it. So we will now show you the downstairs area. And then let me know in the comments below what you would do with that. So to get this back in your head, three good sized bedrooms, a bathroom, another bathroom, an enormous, humongous living dining area with a kitchen in if you wanted to. That's absolutely full of furniture, but there you go. All new, all new light sockets. 
and then the kitchen with access out onto the, 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 the courtyard, as we like to call it, off the west wing or east wing, whatever wing it is. Okay, so now I'm going to show you downstairs. I want to go in from the humongous doors because I want to feel important. So just remember that that's the stairs down and it will be coming in from the entrance from there. Okay, so through the humongous doors, remember all of this. I'm sure you do. It was only a minute, a minute ago. Let's have a look down here. Now these traditionally would have been used for wine, for olive oil and all that kind of thing. Again, this is all stone features. You could get rid of that nasty paint. Some of the electric boxes need to be finished off, but you can see there's new wires in there. And that is obviously the staircase up to the main house. So would you use that as the main entrance? I think I would. I think you have to do, don't you? Let me know in the comments, but I think I would keep this as the main, as the main entrance and then go up to your property. So down here, it will get a little bit dark. I can't remember what's down here. If anything jumps out on me, then I apologize now. <laughs> well, it's getting very dark down here. Probably the only thing that's gonna jump out on me would be Domenico over here somewhere down here. So it is quite dark. Now this, now we're above that humongous room upstairs. But this has got all the original vaulted ceilings and things. Again, a bit of furniture in here. So don't worry, this has to be gone. Look at the size of this. What could you do down here? An exercise ball there. Look, we could have it as a aerobics center. I'm dying to have a bounce on it, but I'm not going to. You'd love me to that, wouldn't you? It would make, uh, it would make a good video. So this obviously a door to the outside so you could put glass door in there and let loads of light in here what would you use this for let me know because this is a humongous room again could be more accommodation could be a mini apartment that'd be cool this is just absolutely love it we're spending too much time in here, it's probably too dark not coming across, but as I say, if you open that, I wonder if I can open it. This is where Domenico could have earned his, earned his uh, few euros today by opening this door. I'm not going to force it. Okay, but this could be something. <laughs> no, I'm not, I won't, I won't say, don't worry. People that are watching these videos for the first time, may not know that I like to use the word stunning quite a lot because I do find things stunning. You know, this could be a great apartment. Looking at it now. It really could be something amazing. Its own entrance. If you didn't want people to go up to, to your quarters, you could find a way of maybe putting a door or something. Oh, there is actually a door. Uh, at the top, you could put a better one on. You could maybe rent this section out. Oh, look at these doors. Imagine that being your, your main entrance. And look at how beautiful the stone is. That's it, folks. That's this one. You've got to admit, this is... Uh, this is stunning. You've got to admit it. Admit it. Go on, do it. Admit it. Tell me in the comments. Love peering down these little side streets. Love it. So let's let's gather our final thoughts, and I'll tell you what I really think. I was going to do my final thoughts, but I've now been told that even this area at the bottom of here belongs to the house as well. Now this is, I've had a peek through the window, we haven't actually got the key. 
at the entrance. Look at this underneath the arch. I know a song about that, underneath the arches, is it? Shall I start singing? No. Anyway, so this is the entrance to, to this other cantina as well that looks enormous. And just to let you know, that is the entrance to the one that we were inside. Look how nice that is. The one that we were inside that I was trying to open. So nice. So this cantina, I'm only going to be able to show you a little glimpse through the window. It looks huge. Cantina, by the way, is like I said before, traditionally where people used to keep wine and that sort of thing. I don't know if you can see in there. Looks like there's two rooms, but it looks massive again in there. Wow. Amazing. Let's do our final thoughts. People often speak about my enthusiasm for places. And it's not a it's not a fake enthusiasm. But you'll only know that when you come out here and you actually walk these streets. And I'm sure you'll you'll feel the same. So my thoughts on this one. Oh and incidentally I mentioned earlier about potential for a terrace but you can't it's just another roof that's on here so you have to make do with this wonderful courtyard instead um final thoughts yeah this one's uh this one's uh it is stunning it truly is a stunning property some great features i absolutely love that you get the archway and you get the this other section of the building and like I said, you don't know that by coming in this way. But even though I would definitely use the other entrance, you have to show off a bit, don't you? When you buy a place in Italy. Just a superb place. And for the price, 89995 Absolutely well worth it. Well worth it. This should be more uh, than that. It should be... Well, I'm not even going to say. But it certainly should be a lot more than what, uh, than what it is. Absolutely love this place, folks. If you're thinking about taking a punt on something without coming and want to do it all remotely, you know that we have all the services available for, the, for that. And this would be a property that I would happily, happily help you purchase without seeing it because I would have no fear whatsoever just like all the others I do videos on that you would get here and say oh my god Dave this is terrible because this place is just brilliant so if you do want to do that we have the services available with no problem at all okay guys thank you so much again for your support thank you for watching these videos really appreciate it please leave me a comment Click the like button, it really genuinely does help. And click the little bell as well, and that'll tell you when we do videos like this, because we're gonna try and do them on a weekly basis. And uh, yeah, it all helps towards the channel. And remember that we do live streaming every Thursday, where we talk about the legal aspects of buying a property in Italy, as well as many other things. So make sure you join us live on YouTube, and on Facebook every Thursday, 7 p.m. Uh, Central European time. Ah, I just love places like this. And I love getting people in places like this. This one is just, this one's gonna make somebody really happy. 